Boom, boom, this is Kenrick coming at you from the corner. How's everybody doing today? All right, we got a little bit of the Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross up today. So let's go ahead and talk about characters. So I'm sure there's been lots of videos posted out on YouTube um, discussing various, you know, tier lists and uh, whatnot. Um, but if this is global, so things are going to be a little bit different. Most of the tier lists are focusing on the um, Japan version, which has been out for some time. So... This is going to focus on global version because that's what I've been playing, and I've been playing it, focusing on these characters, uh, using them for different uh, events, uh, and playing a lot of the levels, uh, which has coincided with uh, with I'm keeping it, trying to get my friendship level in Vanya, which is the first chapter up to level five, so I can start getting some SSR equipment. Um, uh, Tax set SSR equipment is located in um, Vanya, the first um, city that you come to. And once you get their friendship to level five, it will be a drop, and you'll also be able to purchase it from the merchant as you will be a friend, max friendship. So let's go ahead and talk about the characters. All right, so these are, as I say, these are this global characters. Um, you know, the, the, they seem to be going fairly close to the Japan version, um, but there are, there, you know, there might be some differences as they come out. Um, Different levels, you know, there's a lot more characters out in the Japan version right now because it's been out for some time. So let's go ahead and take a look. First character that, uh, the way I've been hearing it, there's going to be about three um, God tier level characters. I don't know how accurate this is, but this is going to be the first one. Um, and this is King, uh, King the Fairy King. Um, it's the blue version. Uh, this is the version that you get in the game uh, from Chapter 3. So I enjoy that. The, I thank the developers for giving us what pretty much everybody is considering to be one of the god tier characters um, in the game. And you get him for free. So that's always good. Um, of course, you know, you'll need dupes of him to level up his uh, ultimate move and whatnot. But you've got him, so you can start using him. Very, very useful. He's got an excellent skill set. Let's go over that. Okay, so his first one is uh, inflicts damage equal to 200% attack uh, on one enemy. Okay, now this is, this is fossilization. This will um, fossilize an enemy, okay? So if you take the preview, um, uh, it's, a, extremely, it's an extremely good skill. Um, it, has the, it has the ability to do some serious damage um, when you utilize it because, just because of the fact that um, it hits for quite a bit of damage. And as you can see, it petrifies. This last, this last, uh, this of course determines whether or not it, uh, you know, it, it will stay um, on the actual thing. Um, and then he's got this right here is uh, a purify skill. This will heal any debuffs um, that are on your your enemies. And then he's got his master skill here. Uh, this is AOE. This is an AOE skill. Okay, so that hits all characters. And it does a ton of damage. Um, as you can see. So it's always nice to have a wide, um, a wide level um, uh, attack because that just makes you know it makes everything so much easier. Okay, so king, so king, third level, definitely want to get him. Uh, definitely want to be the first one that you take to UR. Okay, so get him up there, work on him. Start getting familiar with the skill set and how to use it, okay? Second, now the second one that you, now you get, this is the Meliodas that you get in, in the game. He's the base character. He's your, the protagonist that you get. Um, this is the blue version. There's a version that's better that's in the, in the uh, gotcha, which is the green version of him. So a lot of people have been going for that. Um, I, I didn't focus on it, primarily because on my first draw, I got another uh, character that's extremely good. So um, I didn't go ahead and worry about it. I was unable to get the green version. But you want to go ahead and level this version up. Either you got, you know, uh, two, you are primarily because there's an event called Hero Way, which is right in your tavern. It's right here. You want to do this because you get an SSR ticket. Okay? So free ticket for an SSR character. So do it. Not hard. Thing about this is though you have to do this within the event. Okay, there's 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 a lot of um, some of the events like you know you got to 
yeah, uh, combine cards, combine you know one cards to make it to one skill, uh, one star card to a two star card, um, skip a turn, um, you know, um, just do various little tidbits um, th th that are associated with you know with learning how to use the character, but you have to do that. You have to do it within this event because the event takes one of the free levels and gives you you have to use it on one of the free levels and then when, then it didn't it then acknowledges it as being completed you just doing it through like i do it all the time um i i, I frequently combine cards you know I, I have been known to skip a turn on occasion um you know so i do all that stuff you know so but it doesn't count unless you do it from within the event. So you have to do it within the event. And hey, it's an SSR card. You know, free SSR card. Definitely want to do it. Okay. So go ahead and take that um, and do that event uh, and level him up. We, you, during the event, you will get him up to you are and you will have to awaken him a couple times. Okay. So just they give you some, they give you a lot of mats within, within this event as you're doing it. So it's not like it's not going to be a serious break the back. I still had enough to to you are up um king okay so it's not a big deal all right the next character that you want to focus on um is ban ban this is the second character you get the first character you get i mean you get meliotis to start the first friend that you get is diane diane's not bad but the version that they give you uh, that you get with the game is not her best version. Okay, now this ban right here. Um, now there's he's got an evolution event with him that, that I went ahead and did. But the main reason I did ban was because ban was literally dropping for me, like it was ridiculous. I. It seems like every draw I would get an undead ban. Sometimes two. I've only drawn three times, and I, had, I I've got. Um, I've leveled it was up ultimate to five. They just kept dropping left and right. I mean, I was just kept getting him and kept getting him and kept getting him and kept getting him. And I'm like, well, I'll as well level him up. I mean, you know, his ultimate is awesome. Uh, another thing this doesn't mention is that this actually ignores defense. So what I've been doing, since it does 980% uh, of the attack, it's only on one enemy, unfortunately. It'd be nicer if it was, a, of course, AOE. But, of course, um, being that powerful that much of a uh, a percentage of increase on in the attack um, if it would destroy the entire level um, and break the game so what I've been doing is so level him up because he's just got to you know even without him the big the big thing against me even though I've got him up powerful but there's another reason you want to focus on him and that is his skill set he's got a heal okay that's nice you can always like that sec this right here is the second reason, and I consider, for me, it for most people, this should be the primary reason. For me, it was secondary. My primary reason, as I said, was because I got five dupes of him, so I was able to max, almost max out his ultimate. But it's this depletes the, the move gauge. Now, if you're looking at your opponent, um, you notice you'll, you'll see those little orbs up there beside them. When you When those orbs max out, they can do their ultimate, okay? This right here depletes one of those orbs when it does the attack. Um, I defeated uh, Gula, who, who's got a massively powerful, and she never even got her ultimate up. Um, I got lucky with some, I got lucky, and they threw up like four of these um, Eliminate uh, Spirit cards, and I was just able to constantly keep her right below, uh, right below her ultimate. And uh, the last move, we both had ultimate, but it was my turn, so I took her out. Um, but so it's a very, 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 very good um, skill to employ to keep uh, to keep the holy knights that you're going to face from going into uh, their ultimate because their ultimate does serious damage. So that's that's one of the reasons. So he's definitely one that you want to focus on. Um, and then, like I said, I've got 980 percent. One one of the funny things I'll do is um, the next character you want to focus on is King Arthur, and the reason I mentioned him is because he has an, a skill which increases the basic stats of an ally um, by 20% for two turns. So what I'll do is I'll throw this up and then I'll throw this on ban because you get to choose which ally. Okay, so when you hit this, it'll, all three allies will pop up. King Arthur will pop up 
and then your other two characters. Each of them will pop up with a little blue ball, and you're saying select one. And so you can choose which ally to apply the 20% buff on, which is awesome. So what I'll do is I'll wait until band goes into ultimate, and then for my final skill, I'll apply this buff, apply it to him, and then and I also have another character called Helbram, which is, um, and I'll, Helbram has a, uh, a skill that buffs attack stats for 20%, and I'll activate that as a second skill, then I'll throw up Ban's ultimate. So you get Ban, Ban gets buffed by 20%, then he gets an attack stat buff for 20%, then he fires off his ultimate. I have one shot, Holy Knights, with that. Um, I have literally blew him off the screen in one shot. So it's an extremely, extremely good skill. Uh, the, it, what, makes it so, what makes it so powerful is the fact that you can choose who you want to use it on. Uh, a lot of the times I'll just throw this on King and let King annihilate. You know, anytime I'm going up against a green boss, I'm sorry, a red boss, because a King is blue and his, uh, his affinity is against red. Anytime I'm going up against a red boss, I just immediately throw this buff on, um, on King and just let him, you know, fire him down. So this is a very good character. So King Arthur, definitely want to focus on him and get him leveled up. Um, and I got, he was, this was, this was the character I got on my first draw. And, it, you know, I had seen, so I'd been looking at a tier list from the Japan version just to see who I should be looking for. And I noticed that he was listed as an S rank, um, you know, right below God tier. He had, he was listed, he had a God tier, um, the god tier had um, had King, Blue King, the two versions of Escanors, which I don't think have came out yet, and then Gauther. Uh, and then, then below that, it had the, some SS ranks, and King Arthur was in there, as well as a few other characters. Uh, Hunter was in there, and there were a few others. I'm going to show you Hunter here in a few minutes. Um, but yeah, so King Arthur. Um, so you want to focus on King. The Meliodas that you've got, level him up just for the event so you can get the SSR ticket. I got this at another, I haven't had a chance to focus on him yet. I, I'm not sure how powerful he is or not. I don't think he's very powerful. You want to level up this. This is Undead Prisoner Band. You will get him for free. King Arthur, if you got him, definitely level him up. Excellent buff skill. Uh, and his main, his damage skill does excellent damage too. Uh, it says 220, but I seriously think it's more than that because I think it applies twice. He comes down with the sword. And then he comes back up with the sword. It would not surprise me if if, there, if he's doing 440. Um, maybe, you know, I'm not sure. It says 220, but it just seems like it's doing a lot more damage than that. Um, it, be, it even does a ton of damage. You know, it's not buffed. And then he's got his ultimate, which is he comes up on a sword. Um, but but the, the thing about it is it does a crit chance. Um, and it, it actually procs quite often. I was actually surprised at how much it was, it was uh, procking. But anyway... Um, so I've got him awakened on one, and I've got Meliodas awakened one, and I've got um, King. They're both. All of these have been awakened, as well as um, uh, Helbram and Hunter, which I'm going to show you right now. Now Helbram is the other one I was telling you about. He has this excellent skill um, that uh, attack-related skills stats for all allies for 50 by 15 percent for two turns so that's what i was saying i was hitting you know hitting king arthur's buff uh, applying this buff and then uh procking bands uh, ultimate and just annihilating um, but that's what it was and he, he, the excellent thing here he does is poison um it does does pretty good damage it's for three turns and it's it's significant and then he has a um his ultimate um uh, hunter with cancels buff and stance um as his main skill um, it, 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 it's, it's, it's very useful, um, because a lot, a, a lot of the times and there's one, there's one King, if you notice King, um, and, and a lot of other characters, um, are a lot able to apply buffs, especially the Holy Knights have a tendency to buff, um, this right here, uh, can, you know, cancel those buffs. Um, I, I have, I was fortunate enough to get his, um, this right here is, uh, Gustav does the actual, uh, they do, when you, when you use Gustav as his um, secondary, they do an attack. They have a special attack um, animation that they go through when you mix them together, which is pretty cool. There's like these tentacles that shoot up out of the ground and surround Helbrum, and then he throws them all, and they all three smack down, and it's an AOE ultimate, which is another good, that's one good thing about 
about both King and Helbrum's ultimate is they are um, AOE, so they do damage to all. Um, Bands is just one, unfortunately, and King Arthur's is just one as well. Hunter's is one as well, too, and let's talk a little bit about Hunter. Hunter does an exceedingly large amount of damage, and that is because it does a crit chance, and the crit chance seems to proc quite often. Uh, okay, so he's very powerful, does an excellent amount of damage. Um, he is a blue character, so he does an excellent amount of damage against red characters. The first raid boss is a red boss so if you have him level him up and take him in and you will have a very successful run if you utilize him properly okay and then his ultimate is uh recovery related this prevents healing um apply this then for two turns you don't have to worry about him healing so if you if you're going up against a team that has um elizabeth um in it or maybe has uh you know um, uh, any character that does healing, druid uh, does healing, uh, you can you, you know hit them with this. They're not going to be healed um, for two turns. So he's a good character. So you definitely want to focus on him as well. Okay, uh, there's there's a lot numerous other characters. Um, these are the only ones I got. I, so I just wanted to bring them up. I was fortunate enough to get some very good characters uh, on the draw. So I de I decided not to re-roll because um, I just didn't see getting green Melios was going to be that important to me um, when I got. King Arthur, uh, and they were going to give you ban. I didn't see the reason to. King Arthur propelled me all the way through to get banned without any trouble whatsoever. And then on the last, I only drew from it three times, and on the last of the third, I pulled up Pilgrim and uh, uh, Hunter. So I'm happy. I'm um, working through. I'm up at level. I'm, I'm up at level four right now. Uh, I finished the PvP events, and I'm just getting ready to finish level four. Um, I decided to go back to one in Vanya and finish the. Um, Finish the uh, the skill uh, friendship for Vanya, simply because, as you can see, I've got it at four stars. Simply because I wanted to get it. Go ahead and get some good sets. The attack set, SSR set, um, is obtainable in Vanya. Um, it will drop in the levels um, once you get to friendship five, and you will have the option to go ahead and purchase it if you want. I, I will be level 5. Uh, I will have 300 experience to go, and I'll hit level 5. Um, it's pretty expensive, so I'll probably just run some levels to get the, to get the pieces of equipment that I, that I need. Um, but you have to be level 5. Um, see, right now I'm at level 4, so I can purchase SR equipment, but I've got, I don't particularly want to do that. I'm waiting for 5 so I can get the SSR, and I'll make a couple of tax sets. And then I'll go ahead and finish out the... Um, finish out the uh, level up my characters and focus on finishing out the game. Now, um, what I like about what I like about this is the fact that they have they show you where they're at. So, you know, like this right here um, is where I'll go for the onslaught room for room for a piece of equipment. I can get the earrings right here. I can get the um, ring right here. I can get the bracer right here. I can get the necklace right here, you know, and I can get the belt right here. So I can get the pieces of equipment that I need. Um, and it tells you where they drop at, which is what makes it what makes that really nice. Because um, if you need a specific piece of equipment to complete a set, you can get it from here. So this is what I like about it. And you can also purchase it from the from the merchant. So, you know, you'll be able to get a full set here. So that's what I was going to do is I was going to build a couple sets. And then I was going to go ahead and complete the actual, um, complete the actual, uh, start working through finishing up the game uh, and go from there. Um, so uh, remember to focus on your dailies uh, and uh, spend a lot of time in, in um and Fort Sorgos, because this is where you get all your mats out for your evolutions and your awakenings. Um, you know, that you need these for your uh, evolution pendants. These are to take them um, from uh, SR to SSR, and then from SSR to UR. Um, you need enhancement potions so you can s you go through the levels fast. Evolution materials so you can awaken your character. Uh, you get the books and stuff right here. So this is this is what you need. This is, you know, you need to focus on this. They got a gold dungeon as well, too. Um, so focus on that. Make sure you definitely do at least three runs a day because that's what your daily requires. Um, uh, the dailies don't take too long. I, unfortunately, um, yeah, you got to run five levels uh, of the uh, a free event, 
five, anyone, you can choose anyone. You can run it from anyone. I've been doing a lot of this friendship request for Vanya, so I naturally just, just, just stumbled into it. Make sure you focus on the events because these events uh, are timed. Access to these events is done through the boss battle um, tab. You'll see the battle tab with a little blue over here on uh, the right hand side. Go to the event tab and make this is the event. This is the growth event. I already completed this. You should go through this. It's not difficult um, and it gets you um, uh, some nice mats. Uh, and you focus on these events because some are time related. So you know, you've only got a couple of days to complete these, so you need to, you know, if you want to focus on some of them before they run out. Got a notices tab, um, which will explain the events as they come out. Um, it was nice of them to do a hero advancement event. Uh, you'll, you'll get a higher chance if you use uh, ex, uh, enhancement potions right now, you'll get a better chance that you'll get extra value out of those enhancement potions. It, uh, a larger chance of that happening, so that was nice of them. Uh, it goes right in tune with continuing uh, to uh, give us some events for the grand uh, opening here. So that's what we got, all right? So that's what you want to do. Um, yeah, so go ahead and get in there and focus on those characters. Get them leveled up. Um, go out and do some free events. Make sure you do your dungeons. Uh, uh, make sure you do boss battle. That's also one of the things. Make sure you do your um, uh, your Fort uh, Solgris dungeons. And, and just get, you know, just, just do that on a daily basis. Um, and you should be able to uh, focus. If, if you're having trouble progressing through, just come back to Vanya, okay? This level, this is the first city that you come to. And just focus on getting the friendship maxed out here. Because once you get that friendship maxed out, you'll have the access to SSR equipment that which you need. And even the hard final level equipments on this are not hard as long as you have a normal team, okay? You know, this is where you, you know, so... You need to take your time. Okay, the scale the scale in this game is so is fast. It scales up pretty quick. Um, it, you know, it doesn't it doesn't it, it, you, your characters level fast and and the, as such the progression through the as the levels are fast as well too. So you can just hang out a little bit here on Vanya. I mean, I'm at four right now and I'm not having any trouble, but I I, I know I'm going to need better equipment if I want to beat the game. I'm not going to be able to beat the game with our level equipment or your level equipment probably can't even do it with SR equipment but if I get you know several versions of SSR attack equipment uh, you know enhance them up awaken them yeah I should be able to get through it um, they're giving you some of the best characters in the game um, as free characters so it's not like you know they're giving you what you need to beat the game you just need to you need to uh, get you know get some equipment uh, that will you know help you take some damage and uh, doing this here helps you um, get familiar with the battle because I love the dynamic battle flow. It's just great. Um, it, it, it allows you to, you know, it, it's not difficult. It's easy to grasp. It's very intuitive. You know, how you combine cards to make, you know, make your skills stronger. Um, skipping, you know, skipping skills. Um, focusing on debuffs and focusing on, uh, you know, removing buffs. Uh, you know, healing and, and those things and just what order to use your skills. So, you know, doing that, you know, you're, as you're playing the game, you just get more familiar with it. And so by the time, you know, once you've got that 18,000 um, friendship points, you've got SSR ranked equipment and you're very familiar with how to handle the battles and you shouldn't have any trouble progressing through the rest of the game. Okay, so that's it. So that's it. So uh, go ahead and focus on that, and uh, I'll have another video a couple t couple days um, after I've done some more stuff, and I've, after I've got some SSR equipment, I'll show you. But I've only got 300 points to go, and I've got a quest to do it right here. There's fresh ingredient quest is for 12,000 experience to get me to to 18,000. I only need 300, so I'm ready to go. Shouldn't be a problem. So. I'll have a video a little bit. But anyway, go ahead and put a like on this video if you like it. And go ahead and go to the subscription button if you want to subscribe. And this is Ken Rear coming at you from the corner. Signing out.